soul who leads me into life. Bless the Lord, my soul, and bless God's holy name. Bless the Lord, my soul, who leads me into The heavens declare the glory of God, and the sky proclaims its Maker's handiwork. One day tells its tale to another, and one night imparts knowledge to another. Although they have no words or language, and their voices are not heard. Their sound has gone out into all lands, and their message to the ends of the world, where God has pitched a tent for the sun. It comes forth like a bridegroom out of his chamber, it rejoices like a champion to run its course. It goes forth from the uttermost edge of the heavens and runs about to the end of it again. Nothing is hidden from its burning heat. The teaching of the Lord is perfect and revives the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure and gives wisdom to the simple. The statutes of the Lord are just and rejoice the heart. The commandment of the Lord is clear and gives light to the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean and endures forever. The judgments of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold, more than much fine gold. Sweeter far than honey, than honey in the comb. By them also is your servant enlightened, and in keeping them there is great reward. Who can detect one's own offenses? Cleanse me from my secret faults. Above all, keep your servant from presumptuous sins. Let them not get dominion over me. Then shall I be whole and sound and innocent of a great offense. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight. O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. In our darkest night, you kindle a fire that never dies away, never dies away. In our darkest night, you kindle a fire that never dies away, never dies away. In our darkest night, you kindle the fire that never dies away, never dies away. In our darkest night, you kindle the 
darkest night you kindle a fire that never dies away never dies away in our darkest night you kindle a fire that never dies away never dies A reading from John, the sixth chapter, beginning with the twenty-second verse. The next day, the crowd that had stayed on the other side of the sea saw that there had been only one boat there. They also saw that Jesus had not got into the boat with his disciples, but that his disciples had gone away alone. Then some boats from Tiberias came near the place where they had eaten the bread after the Lord had given thanks. So when the crowd saw that neither Jesus nor his disciples were there, they themselves got into the boats and went to Capernaum looking for Jesus. When they found him on the other side of the sea, they said to him, Rabbi, when did you come here? Jesus answered them, Very truly I tell you, you are looking for me not because you saw signs, but because you ate your fill of the loaves. Do not work for the food that perishes, but for the food that endures for eternal life, which the Son of Man will give you. For it is on him that God the Father has set his seal. They said to him, What must we do to perform the works of God? Jesus answered them, This is the work of God, that you believe in him whom he has sent. Here ends the reading.
Let us pray. Lord our God, as evening falls and the light disappears, receive our prayer. God our Father, you look upon us with compassion. Receive our prayer. God our Father, you take upon yourself our burdens. Fill us with your peace. God our Father, in silence we are led to you. Sustain us by your word. God our Father, your love is all we need. Welcome us and all those whom you have entrusted to us. God our Father, kindle a new brightness in our night. May your light shine within us. Lord God, you make your peace shine out in our midst. May our hearts sing your praises forever. Lord, your love comes to liberate our lives. May our hearts sing your praises forever. We pray for the church, ferment of communion. Lord, make your face shine upon her. We pray for the road of justice and freedom, for the leaders of the nations. Lord, may all nations give you thanks. We pray for all believers, witnesses to hope. Make your face shine upon us. Lord, for the victims of injustice and violence, for those who give aid to them, in them your praise forever. Lord, for all who give their life because of Christ and the gospel, in them your praise forever. Lord, for all you have entrusted to us, in them your praise forever. Eternal God, you created us in your image and you saved us through your Son, Jesus. Look with compassion upon the entire human family. Eternal God, source of justice and peace, establish peace among the nations, the fruit of your salvation. May all people sing your praises. Eternal God, your love brings healing to our hatred and sadness. Bring peace to your church, to the nations, the families, and bring inner peace to each of us. Eternal God, your spirit of life dwells within every human being. May the spirit enable us to tear down walls of mistrust and fear. Christ Jesus, you come to proclaim the joyful news of peace. Help us to bring an end to deprivation, poverty, and oppression in our societies. Eternal God, you bless every nation on this earth. Remember those who suffer from violence and discord. Eternal God, you walk alongside the people of every land. Show the leaders of nations how to follow the road of justice and peace. Christ Jesus, you wish to reconcile the whole human race. Teach us to welcome refugees and immigrants, to form them a single people that belongs to you. Eternal God, 
finally. By your Son, Jesus Christ, to bring down the walls of separation between people, reconcile us in your love. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, and thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us of our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. We pray, O risen Christ, you go down to the lowest depths of our human condition, and you burden yourself with what burdens us. Still more, 
You even go to visit those who have died without being able to know you. And even when within us we can hear no refrain of your presence, you are there. Through your Holy Spirit, you remain within us. Holy Spirit, Spirit of the living God, you breathe in us on all that is inadequate and fragile. You make living water spring even from our hurts themselves. And through you, the valley of tears becomes a place of well springs. So in inner life, with neither beginning nor end, your continual presence makes new freshness break through. And for this we rejoice. In Jesus' name, amen. The Lord is my light, my light and salvation. In Him I trust, in Him I trust. The Lord is my light, my light and salvation. In Him I trust, in Him I trust. The Lord is my light, my light and salvation. In Him I trust, in Him I trust. The Lord is my light, my light and salvation in him i trust in him i trust the lord is my light my light and salvation in him i trust in him i trust the Lord is my light, my light and salvation. In Him I trust, in Him I trust. The Lord is my light, my light and salvation. In Him I trust. In Him I trust. The Lord is my light, my light and salvation. In Him I trust, in Him I trust. The Lord is my light, my light and salvation. In Him I trust, in Him I trust. The Lord is my light, my light and salvation. In Him I trust, in Him I trust. The Lord is my light, my light and salvation in him i trust in him i trust the lord is my light my light and salvation in him i trust in him i trust
Satan, those who seek God shall never go wanting. Nothing can trouble, nothing can frighten God alone fills us. Nothing can trouble, nothing can frighten those who seek God shall never go wanting. Nothing can trouble, nothing can frighten God alone fills us. Nothing can trouble, nothing can frighten those who seek God.